it is time that we honor the memories of those martyrs who gave their lives at Camp Ashraf. And it is very sad that this is the occasion that brings us together today. I am here today uh, as your Master of Ceremonies uh, to introduce to you those who stand with you in solidarity, but I want to say a few words myself. We saw and witnessed what can only be called a foreseeable massacre that occurred at Camp Ashraf on September 1st. Those in this room, those who stand with you, have known all along that those who are in Iraq, uh, members of the Iranian resistance in Camp Liberty and at Camp Ashraf were in fact vulnerable to the kind of massacre that occurred. It was not the first such massacre, it was indeed the third. We have lost 52 precious lives. It is time for us to stand and say we will not lose another life. Those of us, those of us who believe in freedom, those of us who believe in the right of self-determination should say enough. The mullahs in Iran have directed their complicit friends in Iraq to slaughter the innocents, and this cannot stand. But it is not just the summary execution of those 52 individuals, but also the kidnapping and hostage-taking of seven others from Camp Ashraf that we are here to protest today. And I say as an American, as one whose government gave personal assurances to every single person who is in Camp Liberty today and who were in Camp Ashraf before that, that our government would protect their lives, that we have failed you. And we as Americans must stand up and demand that our government live up to the promises that it made to the people of Camp Ashraf and are continuing to make to the people who are at Camp Liberty. We must see that the United States government, that our State Department and that our White House hold the government of Iraq responsible for what happened. It is not possible that troops could have come in and gone by the hundreds of Iraqis who were there in the military forces in Camp Ashraf for the slaughter that occurred on September 1st to have taken place. It is not possible that the Iraqi government was not, at the very least, complicit in that terrible action. And we must demand answers, answers to what has happened to these seven hostages. Where are they being held? By whom are they being held? And are their lives safe? And until we get answers to those questions, we cannot give up our pressure. 